and welcome back to another episode of Shit I Wish I Knew. This is episode three, and today we're going to be going over Critiquilira. Big shout out to George from Florida that requested this video. Actually, we've got a ton of requests for this video, and I want to thank everybody that wrote. I'm getting to them. We'll get to everybody's request, and hopefully everybody else writes some more. I want to hear some more comments. I want to read them. And, uh, and hear what you guys want to know. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button. So today we're going to be finishing off the Cretan series, I guess, with Critico Surto, with Proto Hanyoti, and Lira. I'm going to show you guys some of the basics, how to hold it, uh, how to hold the, the bow. We'll go over the skeleton of Proto Surto, and then I'll show a little bit of intricacy and some tips and tricks, just like always. So let's dive right in. How we're going to hold the Lira? Two ways about it. We can either hold it on the midi so basically plant that right on your knee or to the side i generally like to hold it on the side because it's easier to maneuver and easier to play so how we're going to make noise on the lira this is as basic as it gets instead of pressing on it like you would a violin or a laut or any of the other instruments we use our nail up against the side so let's get a close-up nail 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 Okay, so that also begs the question of how much pressure we're going to have to put and where we put the pressure. Generally, when we're playing stringed instruments, the pressure goes inward. Okay, on this one, it's like you're flicking outward. Okay, so that's how we're going to put pressure on the strings. On the bow side, palm up. I like to put my ring finger up against the hairs and push outward. Bow against the strings, totally perpendicular, and we're just going to do very simple one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. With that little exercise, we want to pay more attention on the bow side, and it's kind of breaking your wrist. So nice, smooth motions. Let's get into the notes of Proto. Like we said in the previous video, this song is in E minor, and now we have to learn how to play E minor, the scale, on lira. The strings are tuned G, D, A. Sol, Re, La. So on your Re string, on your D string, we're going to apply pressure on first. That's E. E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. That's a small step right there. D, E. Those are the notes for Paroto Surto. Now let's go into the, a little bit of the skeleton, bare bones, minimum, at least how I play it. We're going to start with the long part, and then we'll go into the short part. So those are the two basic skeletal parts of Proto Sirto Cagnoli, okay? Let's dive into a little bit of the intricacy. I'll do a couple different variations that I've picked up along the way, and then I'll break them down a little bit more, and then we'll dive into tips and tricks.
So those are some of the more intricate passages that I've learned along the way. What I want to do is dive into some of the tips and tricks. This is the most important part of this video. First tip is that we try, we always try to turn the lira when we're changing strings. So instead of maneuvering the right hand with the bow around, we try and turn the lira. Now it doesn't mean that we have to change our strings with moving the lira, but it helps. So let's take, for instance, that first passage. And it's almost a combination, but it makes switching a lot faster and a lot more seamless. Second tip, the trill going between A string to D string. This is one that I find very helpful in every song that I play, not just proto. So, that little things that you can totally overuse or you can kind of dial it in just right so when you have a nice long note or passages in between is kind of where we would throw this a lot okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen our thumb and kind of guide it with the wrist into the finger okay tips and tricks this was episode three of shit i wish i knew thank you very much for all the, the love that's in coming everybody that wrote commented uh subscribed liked make sure if you haven't please do so it means the world to me until next time